Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again, and uh, I got back from Pack South a couple days ago, and I just wanted to update you guys with everything that's going on. So, first stop to answer the questions about uh, all the PoE content and everything. The PoE content will most likely resume once I finish building or complete my new computer. Um, for those of you guys who know about this, and for those of you guys who don't, I've had, I've been having severe performance issues with PoE ever since 3.0, and even honestly before then, but 3.0 is kind of really when it kicked in. I've been having a really bad lag, connection to the servers, um, bugs here and there. I don't really need to go into this, it's not really supposed to be a negative video. So, um, to fight all of that and counteract it, we are building a new computer. And to go over the parts, since everything is on the way, um, I want to go ahead and show you the here we go. Let's just let's just start with this. So, uh, I've got I don't really know much about computer parts, but here you go. This is my uh, what is this? My motherboard plus my CPU. Is that what it is? I think so. There you go. So you can look at that. Um, I've got the 1080 Ti on the way, along with 16 gigs of RAM, and we can always just add in another 16 gigs if we need more. To show you guys the other parts, uh, I've got the. BAM by Nerds Hunter, my buddy. Also shout out to Nerds Hunter because he's helping me out with the card. Uh, we've got a one terabyte SSD. Uh, we also have the Corsair H100 Hydro Series. Uh, I don't know what the fuck it is. Is this a, uh, is this a CP liquid CPU cooler? That's what it is. You hear that, boys? All right, and then we have Uh, this is our power supply, 850FX, fully modular, gold plus. I don't know what any of this stuff means, but it makes me happy. Um, and then we have <clears throat> the actual computer case. Now, this current computer case was on sale for like 60 bucks, so I was pretty happy about it. But I had to pay $1,000 for the graphics card, because fuck you Bitcoin miners, but that's just life, right? So the case that we have... I don't know, does it say it, what it is? Three side tempered glass direct airflow water cool. I don't know, you can fucking read that. I don't know what it is, but this is the. You know what? I'm just gonna fucking open it. Do I have a knife on me? By the power of editing, I'm gonna appear a knife in my hand. You will fucking do it. Open. All right, I don't, I don't feel like opening this right now. I'm gonna just put it all together once we get it. But it's a pretty cool case. It's got a nice blue lighting on it. I'll get you guys, I'll figure out whatever it is, whenever I figure it out. But you guys will see the new computer up and running. Um, hopefully, hopefully in the next two weeks. Uh, and then once we get back with the new computer, I uh, most likely will, well, I don't know yet. I probably am gonna switch my internet because I'm currently with Frontier right now. And AT&T guys just came in we actually streamed all this live, so it was kind of weird. But they came in and installed fiber up to one gigabyte. So, um, not that I really need that much internet, but the current servers that I'm on, right, well, essentially, PoE servers in Texas are like really wishy-washy, especially with Frontier, which is who I've been with for the past couple years. Originally, I was with Verizon. Frontier took over Verizon for the area, so I was kind of forced into Frontier. Hopefully, I can get proper connection with AT&T and I'm pretty sure it's going to be way cheaper. So my quality of life for playing PoE hopefully is going to go up by like literally like a million percent, like no lie. Like I've been averaging like 30 FPS when I play the game. So I'm so fucking excited. Um, and I want to go back playing my Death's Oath character again with a, little, with a little twist though. And we'll talk about that more when I'm back in PoE. Uh, it's going to be a melee character based around Viper Strike with a Death's Oath. And I think it's actually going to be legit. It's not going to be like a meme character. Um, that's pretty much about it. Uh, as for packs, I honestly didn't really like packs too much this go around. Um, the reasons why is there wasn't really much Twitch oriented stuff. I'm not going to get mad at anyone or, you know, I didn't, I don't feel like I wasted money. It's just last year when I went, me K. There was a lot more Twitch themed oriented stuff. There wasn't even like a Twitch booth this go around. And one of the few events hosted by Twitch was hosted with Twitch Texas. And there was a bit of confusion with some things happening there, which was kind of silly. Of course you can't get, you know, get upset at Twitch for one stupid person. But other than that, it was a lot of fun. Um, not really too much other than that. Uh, I didn't really like the games at all. I thought the games were kind of subpar for me personally. I was looking at like the indie scene, like the indie RPG scene or um, 
uh, roguelike. There was one called like Sword of Ditto, and there are a couple okay ones, but compared to last year's packs, I had much more fun at that one. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I'll probably say I might upload some, some content of the Warcraft 3 stuff that we've been doing, because I don't want to just leave it completely dry on the YouTube channel. Um, you know, I usually am posting guides and stuff, and there's not really much guides I can make for Warcraft 3 unless, like, people are actually playing it. And, um, yeah, we're also probably playing There Are Billions. There Are Billions has been pretty fun, pretty rage-inducing, because, like, you spend an hour and a half building everything only to watch it fucking crumble in the last ten seconds. But the game is honestly a lot of fun, totally worth the money. Uh, has a really nice, like, survival style uh, survival slash like command and conquer slash like don't conquer because you need to command your base before it gets conquered um, And I put out a first impressions on that on the channel. So I hope you guys like that as well But anyway, that's pretty much about it um, I don't ever do this either, but I'm probably gonna do some more shout outs I'm working with a clothing company called into the AM. They make really nice clothing uh, So I'll make sure to put that in the description from now on of my stuff So if you're curious you can check them out as well but anyway, that's pretty much about it. So I hope to see you guys back with some more PoE content in a little bit. Uh, if you want to hop in the streams, it's just going to be like Variety slash Warcraft 3. Uh, again, most likely there are billions and Warcraft 3 until I have the new computer up and running. Because uh, I don't really, like I want to play PoE a lot right now, but I don't want to play PoE with the same issues I've been having over and over because it's not going to make the game feel any better right now. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Um, I'm probably also going to stop the SSF character, but again, I don't really know specifically. I have to wait until I get my new computer before really speaking too much on PoE topics to see how I feel about it. But like I said, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you are curious, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv pox. Hope you guys had a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everyone.